from the UCR. I think it's my duty to to give uh, to show you what uh, Costa Rica is is is, is being done. Uh, this presentation has been uh, has been uh, sent by, by to, to me by, by these two these two guys. Okay, these two guys, very young people in Costa Rica, trying to do what I think is I, I have been uh, looking at the at what they have been done. I think it's a, a, a very very. Uh, uh, these, these people is very excited with the crystallography and the, with the research in crystallography. So it's, I think it's really good. The, I look at the committee, and the committee is almost 20 members, all very young people, and also uh, uh, they have a, a in the world directory of crystallographers. If you, if you look at the world directory of crystallographers, you will be amazed that they are 42. 42 members. So so it's very nice. So uh, they are they are really. Uh, Andrea uh, and uh, Jose Roberto, they are uh, really proud of the activities. Only two activities. The first one uh, in 2014, uh, to, to be mentioned. Uh, the, the first one is the, the starting up of the research, as they say, is the uh, first school of crystallization and uh, polymorphism. You can see there, you cannot see it, but I can tell you Juan Manuel Garcia Ruiz is there, and also Joel Bernstein, among many others. And they consider this school as the startup of a group of research. I think Silvia Cuffini is trying to support them to have several activities related with crystallography and material science and pharmaceutical materials and so on. Uh, so the other thing is that uh, they, they celebrated the International Year of Crystallography uh, uh, just launching, and it's, it's now uh, uh, the, the hours has been done and everything, uh, one uh, competition of essays on different uh, topics uh, related to, to crystallography. So you can, you can see the web page. I cannot show you the web page because it's not working here, the link, because the, the network, I guess. So the last one, there are three. What they expect from the from the uh, to be uh, to become uh, to be a member of the UCR, uh, they they expect to to do some networking. So uh, I think they 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 realize that in uh, Central America there is there is a need for crystallography. There is a gap to cover, and I think they need the help, as uh, Graciela said before, from the south, from the, maybe Venezuela, Colombia, and also from Mexico. Just, so they, they, they like to, to, to be the, uh, the uh, starting of a network in the, uh, for crystallography in Central America. And then they want to continue with the schools, and uh, they claim for one open lab. Maybe it's not possible, but they like to have it. And, uh, and they are very much committed to the spread of crystallography in Central America, not only, not only in Costa Rica. So I think it's very nice to see these people being very, very much, uh, I would say, with a lot of illusion on, on, on developing research in crystallography. So thank you very much. Thank you.